I have never had such pain. Well, I keep telling you, Nick, why don't you go in the dentist and have him yank it out? Well, maybe it don't have to be yanked. Well, then what's it ache for? First, bad weather always sets in that bad tooth. Well, now, look, we're here. It won't take but a minute to go in and have it yanked out. Toothache medicine. the same. How's it feel? Mm. But now that whiskey's got it numb, won't you go have it yanked? You won't feel a thing. <laughs> yeah, you gentlemen look in the prime of life and physical fortitude. Now, how'd you like to earn an easy five dollars? Doing what? Practicing the manly art of self-defense. Test your strength and prove your skill. Jack Kilbane versus Sam Driscoll, the Boston Terrier. Hey. Which one are you? Well, me neither. Terrence O'Rafferty, manager and trainer of Jack Kilbane, who once stepped into the ring with the immortal John L. Sullivan. Really? Yes, gents. The fight of the century, sponsored by the Stockton Club at $50 a ticket. Jack Kilbane versus Sam Driscoll, bare knuckle, fight to the finish. Oh, it'll be the biggest private boxing match ever held west of the Mississippi. Marcus the Queen, but it holds. That's no gouging or biting or yeah. kicking, eh? Yeah. Now, are there any men among you that would like to earn five dollars as a sparring partner? And the first man that stays three rounds with Jack Kilbane wins this here gold piece, eh? Oh, now, surely there must be some among you that have done some fighting. You can't all be lacking in the qualities of manhood. There you go, Nick. You get your tooth knocked out, earn five dollars, and save a trip to the dentist. <coughs> Heath, when are you going to learn you're not funny? Oh, he talks. And I thought your friend was deep and dumb. No. <laughs> Give me another shot. How about that, Nick Barkley? You're always stomping and throwing your weight around. Well, now, why don't you mind your own business, Jonas? You just happen to be a little bit sore because I fired you off the ranch. Will I do the same thing again if I ever see you put a club to a horse? And don't you ever forget it. Ooh. Now, here's the man offering you a fight. How about it? Oh. It, 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 it. <laughs> Didn't want to start no arguments. If Stockton doesn't have a man to go three rounds with Jack Kilbane, I'll just keep me gold piece. <laughs> we'll send to Sacramento. For some men. Well, I guess it's up to me, Nick. Where'd I sign up? Well, now, what do you want to do that for? What do you want to fight for? I used to box on the army. What do you get for it? You get your brains knocked in while some Yahoo watches. Well, it might be a shame to turn the man down. People might think there ain't no pride here in Stockton. Pride? Besides the idea of a Barkley knocking out the great Jack Kilbane, that kind of tickles me. Right here? Mm. Now, wait a minute. Anybody who's going to fight in this family, it's going to be me, Nick Barkley. Oh, fine, fine. I'll see you at Brown's Warehouse in 20 minutes.
Nick, I was just having fun. I tricked you into this. Now, let's get out of here. I signed up. Well, they can get somebody else. That guy's nobody to fool with. There we go. There we go. Easy. Up. Ah. Well, uh, thank you very much, my friend. But I'm afraid you don't win the five dollars. It's three rounds you got to stay. Three. <laughs> That's what. All right, Mr. Barkley, you're next. Now, let, let's see what you can do. Well, uh, he hits pretty hard. I may not be able to be much competition. You wouldn't be trying to back out on me now, would you? I mean, uh, no, no, no. Nick, you don't have to prove anything. Use your head. Can't use my head. Marcus of Queensbury rules you can't butt a man. Can't use my head. And Jack Kilbane. Uh, Nick. Nick Barkley. There's my brother Heath. Heath Barkley. Mr. Rafferty, you, you met Heath. Have you ever fight before? Uh, me? Uh, no, well, just uh, army tournament stuff. Nothing too much. Any mister? Hmm? I'd like you to try to box Jack. Yeah. Make a move at you. Yeah. No, no, don't be trying to take him out with one punch. Oh, no, no. no. That way you may last a few rounds, right. eh? Right. Now, Jack, I'd like you to move around a bit. Hold up on a punch. Make it last a little while. Yeah, sharpen up your timing. You need it, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good punching, cowboy. I get even better. Nick! Nick, that's enough. Now you're gonna come to me. You better get the seat of your pants ready then, cowboy, because you're gonna be sitting down. Come on. Now, isn't that enough? You stay out of this, Heath. Uh, uh. Oh, Kilbane. I'm gonna get you with one of these if it's the last thing I do. Next cowboy? No, thanks. Rafferty, I've had it for one day. I think I've had plenty. I don't know about you. Stockton Cowboys, huh, Kilbane? Now, now take it easy. It, it was a fluke. I know this would happen. I knew it. Those two fights with Sam Driscoll. That pounded bad. Get, get out of the way, will you? No, no, take it easy, Jack. Just take it easy. Here we go. I, I gotta finish the fight. He sent you over a lucky one. No, 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 no. I quit. Besides, you, you had me out of my feet. No, don't worry about me, Cowboy. Just hit my bad side. Turn out the lights for a minute. It'll go away. I don't want to intrude in your business, mister, but I think he better be checked by a doctor. Right. Me? Yeah, you. I've been fighting since I was 15 years old. Oh, watch it. Hey. Get up. Now, we're going down to see Dr. Marar. He's just down the street. And I don't want any nose. OK. Now, me, you get back to the ranch. I'll be there as soon as I see if he's all right. Right. Doc, I tell you, I can see as good as anything. Oh, well, you just quiet down, stop arguing. Now, follow my hand with your eyes. No, 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 don't. Don't move your head.
How much has he been hit on that side? Who knows? Talks it over a hundred fights. Could always take a punch. No, I don't know. What do you mean, don't know, Rafferty? I'm thinking of Sam Driscoll. He could hurt you bad. He never saw the day. Now, let me explain what has happened. A blood clot is very probably formed and is causing pressure there inside your head. Well, how come I feel okay, then? Well, listen, I could go out there right now and... Shut uh, up! Who's the doctor here, him or you? I know how I feel. If it's a blood clot, there's every chance it'll go away and you'll be as good as ever. I'm telling you this. If you ever fight and get hit there, that blood clot can move, not dissolve. And you'll be dead. <laughs> 